Hello folks. You know, after firing my rocket with the SD's E9 motor recently, I was really blown away at the height and the speed this thing went compared to the D12 motors. And you're seeing that shot right now in slow motion. Uh, so I landed it pretty far away again and I thought maybe I could control it with a radio, you know, like NASA does its rockets. Well, I started looking around at what I had and I decided that there would be some complicated fin control and really nowhere to put a radio and a battery on this rocket. So as I contemplated it, I found myself looking at some of my lightweight foam airplanes when my eye caught my first EF-2000 from Nitro Planes. That Eurofighter still had an airframe, but there were some issues with the nose and rudder as I remember, so it just hangs there. Well, as I looked at it, I decided that the two Estes motors would really work good with the two exhausts. I needed twin exhaust. I wanted to fire a twin, you know. <laughs> well, it looked like a pretty good candidate to me, so I began adding the motors. I used amazing goop to glue them in. That stuff is flexible, and it's amazing. Well, with two engines uh, in the tail, they're, they're pretty heavy. Their engines are heavier than you think. And for that reason, and not wanting to put more weight in the nose to compensate, I elected to remove the ducted fan motor to create the balance. Well, as the motors burn out, they're going to become quickly light after takeoff, so it's going to become more nose heavy. And for that reason, I'm going to trim lots of up trim in it for the takeoff. Well, the way I'm going to launch it will be with my Night Flyer Apult. You know, that's my homemade catapult that I use to launch jets, etc. Many of you have seen that. I'm not actually catapulting this, I'm just letting the rocket motors do the work and see how far it'll go. Heck, it might blow up right on the launch pad. <laughs> I have also covered my launch pad with aluminum foil and that way not to burn anything on the launch or on takeoff. I'm launching with full AMA rocket safety protocols in place, including a fire extinguisher. You know, being radio controlled, this rocket ship actually is probably safer than some of the free flight rockets that could fly away if no chute opens, <laughs> like mine did. Also, I've got a camera on board the EF-2000, and I'm launching the Blade 350 to do the aerial video above it. To make sure both rocket motors light at the same time, I added a third clip and connected two of the solar igniter leads together to make sure of a pure parallel circuit for dual ignition. I'm also using a multimeter to make sure all connections are good and a 9 volt battery to fire the igniters. Here's my checklist. Put the launcher in position, the rocket plane on the launcher and secure it, connect the wires to both motors, turn on the blade quad for satellite lock, while I'm waiting turn on the plane and the transmitter, turn on the plane FPV camera and monitor, begin recording, turn on the Garmin launch pad cam, Ilya Cam, Jeff Cam, turn on the drone, Sony Cam, and launch the drone to 50 feet. I will fly under the drone, making a U turn and land the rocket plane. Will it work? I don't know. But here we go. What could go wrong?
Now I'll tell you what kids, don't try this at home. Catch it.